think what makes a strong leader is really a, uh, a fundamental belief in some very clear goals, objectives, purposes. Uh, that you, and if you don't have that kind of game plan, if you like, if you don't have a set of, of uh, directions that you want to go in, then you're not going to get the actions or the follow-up that you need. And my experience with uh, Chief Hudson is that uh, he really saw the uh, opportunity that the uh, land entitlement uh, provided to develop a long-term economic stability and continuity uh, for First Nations people in Peguis and, and actually uh, throughout the province. Peguis, in terms of its activity and its presence uh, under Chief Hudson, has really taken a leadership role uh, in the province, I think maybe even nationally, in terms of uh, setting out uh, very strong positions. I mean, I think that uh, uh, it took some real courage to stand up to all the other pressure, say, on the uh, Capion Barracks issue, and to say, this is a right, but we'll negotiate. He clearly uh, has the interest of the people of Pegasus, you know, first and foremost, but I think he sees the way to uh, enhance that, to improve it, he is to open up bridges to all kinds of other uh, opportunities. It's a uh, time for some real unity. Uh, you've got a federal government that needs to be clearly challenged. I think. Uh, the non-Aboriginal community has to see a coherent set of proposals and uh, strong leadership that they can respond to, and that's why I think it's really important that there, there be that kind of coherence to it. Mm -hmm.